Hello there, I am Giant Grove with Pokemon Yellow. In the last part, we battled our rival Sean for the second time. We caught a Nidoran and named it Lavender, nicknamed it Lavender. And uh, we caught a Minky and nicknamed it Grumpy. I raised everyone up to level 10. We took on uh, Sean for a second rival battle, it was really easy. And now we're here in the Viridian Forest and we got through Viridian City and stuff. So yeah, I forgot to show that the... Um, the gym is like closed, so I'll go back and cut, actually just show you guys real quick. So yeah, over here where the gym is, um, Viridian City Pokemon Gym, I can't, I completely forgot to show this off, but I'll sh I'm showing it off now, haha. <laughs> Let's go inside it. Let's go get our first gym badge. The gym's doors are locked. Dang it. Oh man, I didn't mean to, s I didn't mean to hop over the ledge, I meant to talk to that guy right there. Jeez. Okay, fine. Let's just go back, or oh, I can actually just go this way. So yeah, the gym doors are locked. This Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. Yeah, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to come back to this gym apparently. So I'm gonna come back to the Ridden Forest. I'll see you guys in a second. Just want, I just wanted to show that off because I forgot to show it off in the last part. Okay, back here in the Ridden Forest. I think if we press A right here, get an antidote. Yep, there we go. It's hitting on him. Nice. Cool little chime there. Let's talk to this guy. Um, I came here with some, with some friends. They are out. Uh, they, they are out for Pokemon fights. Okay, cool. So in yellow only, there's this trainer right here, this last, that'll battle you. Dang it! That stupid Pidgey interrupted me. So if you talk to her, she'll have a Nidoran male and a Nidoran female, so that's pretty cool. Hi, do you have a Pikachu? Yes, I do. And she's not here in red or blue if I were to leave green, so keep that in mind. So it's like yellow exclusive. This last one's to fight. Yeah, it's a Nidoran female. Okay, level 6, cool. Nice, let's use horn attack on it. And it should do at least half, I think. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's use another horn attack then. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, last is about to use Nidoran male. Okay. Nidoran male versus Nidoran male. Nice. Although my Nidoran male knows horn attack, baby. Ha ha ha. Tackle, okay. Cool. Horn attack again. And there we go. Nice. Lavender's in level 11, awesome. We defeated last, cool. Oh no, really? <laughs> yes, I guess so. Thanks for the 90 Poké Dollars though. Up here is a Pokéball, so I'm gonna get it, even though I might run into a Pokémon. Dang it! I feel like I jinxed it when I said, oh, even if I run into Pokémon. But here's a Pokéball, okay, cool, we got it. Dang it, are you kidding me? Okay, that was another Caterpie, both those previous encounters with Caterpie, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Let's go over this way, and uh, here's another trainer. I ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should really care extras. Yes, that's true. Nothing over there. Okay, cool. Let's see how Pikachu's doing right now. Pikachu's happy. Nice. He's happy because he's smiling and stuff. Here's a bug catcher. Uh, hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle him. Okay. So yeah, bug catcher, nice. They usually have bug Pokemon that Caterpie and Weedle. He has a case sent out Caterpie, cool. It's level 7, it should be a Metapod though, but you press B to stop it from evolving, but that's just your choice. Cool. Let's so use Horn Attack on this thing, it does a little bit over half, cool. Let's use another Horn Attack then. There we go, nice. Okay, bug catcher's about to use Caterpie again. Okay, two Caterpies, cool. This one also level 7? Yes it is, cool. Let's just one attack on it then. And yeah, it does about half. Exactly half really. <laughs> String shot, so it lowers Lavender's speed, but Lavender is still faster than this Caterpie, because it's 4 levels higher. It's pretty cool, critical hit, awesome. There's actually a lot of critical hits you get in first gen games. Gen generation 1 games, I should say. We defeat the Bugcatcher. No, Caterpie can't cut it. And I think it's all based on speed too. So if you have like Persian and you use Slash as a high critical hit ratio anyway, then it's almost always a critical hit because Persian's really fast. So it's based on speed for some reason too. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna switch Pokemon actually. I'm gonna go to... Uh, let's go to Storm. Next, okay. So here's another bug catcher, let's battle him. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. I, I beg the differ, you can't actually jam out, even if you're a Pokemon trainer. What are you trying to say? Bug catcher, you don't even have a name, because in Gen 1 there was just, uh, just the trainer's type and, and then have individual names. 
Uh, let's go for the Thunder Shock. This is my pet's level 6, so it's somehow hacked. You have a hacked amount of pot or something because my pot's not supposed to fall over level 6, it's supposed to fall over level 7. Let's use another Thunder Shock on this thing. There we go. Okay, would it be okay? Let's stay in. Nice. Let's use Thunder Shock again. Let's use another Thunder Shock after that. This Caterpie is going to use Tackle. Okay, cool. That's so cool, man. Do you want a medal or something? Yeah, Storm could level low. Nice. So I'm just trying to learn quick attack. Okay, cool. Can I learn full moves? So quick attack? Yes. Which we should be forgotten. Let's get rid of um, Growl. One, two, and poof. So I forgot Growl. And so I want quick attack. Awesome. Nice. So it's just Metapod. Okay, let's switch to um, Grumpy, I guess. So this is Metapod's level 6. Another hacked Metapod you got here. Bug Catcher. So uh, let's go for the Sulo Kick. I hope it missed, of course. It's just hardened now, nice. Good for you, I guess. Not very effective. Okay, that's not good. Let's just, let's just scratch then. It's gonna use hardened. It only knows. I think this thing may only know hardened because it's a metapod, you know? Might not even know tackle. Because if, if you catch a wild metapod in the Viridian Forest, I think I'm pretty sure it only knows Harden. So, like, it's better to catch a Caterpie because it already knows Tackle and Evolve it all with Dead Body Free. Instead of having to switch out your metapod because it doesn't have an attacky move, you know? But yeah. Cool. You defeat Bug Catcher. Cool. Nice. Hi, huh, I ran out of Pokemon. Yes, you did. I'm sorry, man. So, let's put a Grumpy up to the front then. I didn't, ah, uh, dang, I fail. That was a fail. That was such a fail. Okay, uh, trainer tips. Uh, contact Professor Oak via PC to get new your Pokedex evaluated. Yes, okay, that's something you can do, actually. Is it Antidote again? Or, no, it's a potion. Dang it. I was thinking it was Antidote. Uh, over here, up here is another trainer, I believe. Nope, I guess not, of course. It's just the long way. Fine, we'll go the long way, just, just for fun. That was a Caterpie. Dang it. And that was a Metapod and Grumpy Good Level 11. Awesome. Cool. Let's take on this Bug Catcher though. Okay, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be- I'm gonna beat the be the best. You're just- you can't beat me. Okay, we'll see about that. You pretty cocky Bug Catcher. So Bug Catcher wants to fight. Cool. So the Caterpie, cool. It's level 8. It should be a Metapod. You press B on it twice to stop evolving twice, man. Come on. Let's go for the low kick. I know it's not very effective, but, uh, I don't know. It's critical hit. Awesome. Cool. And it flinched. Awesome. I think that's what it said. There we go. Caterpie level 8 goes down. Nice. But get your position. Metapod. Okay, let's go to, um, let's go to Storm, I guess. It's level 8. Okay, cool. This Metapod evolved at the right time. Okay, hold on, let's just put this there, and this, switch with that, yeah, there we go. Let's go for the Thunder Shock, though. Cool. It's gonna use Harden on us, okay, let's use another Thunder Shock, then. There we go, nice. We defeat Bug Catcher, nice. After all I did, <laughs> Be cock being cocky and all that, yeah, thanks for the Poké Dollars, though. Dang it. That was a Caterpie level, uh, 3, I think, yeah. That was a Pidgeotto level 9, because Pidgeotto is actually going to be caught in, a uh, Freedom Forest. I think they are, you can either get one at level 7 or level 9, I believe. I don't think you can get one at level 8, though, but I could be wrong. And, uh, Grumpy took some heavy damage in that last fight. So let's switch to Storm, I guess. We're almost out of the Freedom Forest. Oh, come on! As I was about to say before I got rudely interrupted by the Metapod, is that we're almost out of the Forest, so that's good. Jeez, so many water counters, oh no! That was a Pidgey level 6, so that's pretty cool. Can you even find Pidgeys in the Rooting Forest? I don't think you could find them Pidgeotto or Pidgey in a Pokemon Fire Leaf Green in the Rooting Forest, I'm pretty sure, so that's pretty cool. Another potion, nice. Let's check our items real quick. How many, what are our items right now? Seven potions, four Pokeballs, four Antidotes, one Pearls. One Pearls, okay, that's cool. That is cool, man. 
I'm loving it. Okay, I'm not gonna read that sign because signs are dumb. I'm just kidding. That was another Caterpie. Let's take on this last bug catcher. I believe this is the last bug catcher of the Freedom Forest. That's pretty cool. Hey, wait up. What's the hurry? Uh, I want to get out of the Freedom Forest, man. I'm sorry. Here's Bug Catcher. I think it's a Weedle level 9. Nope, okay. Here's a Caterpie level 10. I think in Fire and the Green, he had a Weedle level 9, though. So I was basing off my memory of Fire and the Green. Ah, oh, man. Thundershock missed. Now I can use String Shot on uh, my Pikachu, of course. My Storm. Jeez. Okay, let's get a string shot again, of course you are, to lower his storm speed again. Let's get his attack on us. Jeez, you stupid caterpie. You're being strategic, you know? Okay, there we go. Critical at awesome. We'll take it. Storm is level 12. Awesome. Cool. We defeated Bug Catcher. Nice. I uh, I gave you you a good at this. Thanks for the 100 pocket always, man. And thanks for the compliment. Dang it. That was another Caterpie, and we're out of the Living Forest, basically. There we are, nice. We go through this transitional building. And now I think we're on Route 3, I believe, but this is a very short route. I can catch like Rattas and stuff here, I guess, and Pidgey and whatnot. Caterpie, I think, too. Weedle. But now we're here in Pruder City, so I'm going to heal up real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so let me see my Pokemon. I'm going to put Grumpy up to the front. Yeah, that's good. And let's put a lavender in the back, because lavender is level 12, actually. There we go, nice, okay. So, uh, let's just shop at the mart real quick. Let's see what we can buy. Buy. Uh, let's buy, like, three more Pokeballs, I guess. Yeah, let's buy three more Pokeballs. Potions, let's buy one more potion. Escape rope. Ooh, this is getting expensive. We want to buy an Awakening, too. Yeah, okay, that's, uh, yeah, things are getting expensive. I only have 655 pocket dollars left, so I want to save my money and stuff. So, I guess that's good. Let's go on to the next route. Yeah, let's go. Haha, -ha. you're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new trainers, challengers. Follow me. I'm not going to follow you on Twitter. Jeez. Don't ask me to follow you on Twitter. I'm not going to follow you on Twitter if you ask. Chase, he's gonna take us to the gym. Yeah, okay, yeah. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock. And then he just walks to the right. But where does he go? Like, that's, uh, he can't hop over this. Like, what the heck, man? Although, I think there's a hidden item here. I think it's a Pokeball. I remember in Fire with Leaf Green, there's a hidden item, which is a Pokeball here. So let's see if it's in yellow, or like in first generation. Um, hmm. I was hoping, but it may, it looks like it may not be here. Maybe if you have the item find it later on, it'll help, but, um, I don't know. Jeez. I want to pivot, jeez, not like step. Oh man, I thought there's a Pokeball here. Maybe that's only in front of the green. Because, uh, I would have probably found it by now, but I don't know. Maybe I'm looking hard enough for something. I guess it's, um, maybe here. Yeah, there's Pikachu happy again, nice. Oh well, I mean, it's just a Pokeball if it's there. Dang it, I thought there was. I was hoping. I keep on hoping. Cake by the ocean. <laughs> okay, um, here's Pretty City, the Pokemon Gym. Way to Brock, the Rock Solo Pokemon Trainer, yeah. Okay, let's take on the gym. Let's talk to the Vice Giver first. Uh, hey, uh, I can, I can tell you what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. I'm no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take to the top. Sure, why not? Alright, let's get happening. It'll be tough for your Pikachu at this gym. Electric attacks are harmless to Brock's ground Pokemon type Pokemon. Because they're half ground. Yeah, okay, cool. That's all he says. PDC Pokemon Gym Leader Brock. Winning trainer is Sean. Of course Sean beat this gym. Now to skip through this trainer, I think you can just go over right here, go around like that, and go to Brock, which is in the back of the gym. But for, I'm going to take on the trainer for experience and stuff. Uh, so yeah, stop right there, kid. You're still light years away from facing Brock. I'm, I'm, my back is towards him, so I guess you're right. No, I'm just kidding. 
What years is measuring time, not distance, or something like that? I, I, I people bring it up all the time when he says his dialogue and stuff. But you know, whatever. Okay, so this did goes over nine. Let's just well kick on this thing. It's gonna scratch on us. It does. Ooh, it does nine HP. Wow, because it's good. Okay, cool, cool, good for you. Well kick and it one takes on one hit. Awesome, cool. The diglet goes down. Now he's a sand shrew. Let's stay in for with Grumpy. Let's use another well kick on this thing. It's level nine. The sand shrew's level nine. It flinched. Awesome, good. Let's use another well kick. Okay, well kick miss. Scratch it hits. Ah oh, man, down to sixty HP for Grumpy. Yeah, let's use another. Let's use one more well kick. As long as Grumpy can hang on. Cool. Yeah, Grumpy's in level 12. Awesome. We defeat Junior Trainer Male. Okay. Cool. Darn. Lightness isn't measured. Isn't. Isn't time. It measures distance. Yeah, I'm glad you learned something from my battle. Thanks for 108 Pokedogs. I'm gonna go back and heal quick because, you know, uh, Grumpy took. Uh, it's like down at less than half of its max HP. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take on Brock. Okay, I'm Brock, the Peter's City, uh, G uh, Peter's gym leader. I'm Peter's gym leader. Uh, I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why all my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then, show me your best. Okay, I'll show you my best. Let's go. Let's go, Brock. Here's a Brock. I think in red and blue he's shirtless. <laughs> so yeah, Brock wants to fight. He has a Geodude and an Onyx, I believe. So that's pretty cool. Geodude, level 10. Cool. So let's get some that Grumpy here. Uh, let's use a low kick on this thing because it's going to be super effective then. Yeah. And a low kick does over half. Cool. And it flinched. Awesome. Let's use another low kick. Ha ha ha. Cool. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Super effective. Yeah, Grumpy is about to use Onyx. Or, no, Brock is about to use Onyx, not Grumpy. Yeah, I'm going to stay in. This Onyx is level 12, I believe. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's just look at this thing. It's, this battle is super easy if you have a, um, a Mankey, honestly, and knows, and knows a low kick. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I think I just tried to use Bind or something there. Thanks for the critical awesome. It's super effective. Nice. Grimpy is in the level 13. Awesome. Steven defeated Brock. Nice. I took you for granted. As proof of your victory, here's the Boulder Badge. We received the Boulder Badge in battle. Nice. That's an official Pokemon League badge. It's it's the bearer uh, bearer's Pokemon become more powerful. Oh yeah, the person who has the badge. I guess you can see he's saying the technique flash can now be used anytime. Thanks for the thousand one hundred eighty-eight Poké dollars, man. I really appreciate it. Wait, take this with you. We get the TM thirty-four, which is bind, I think, or bide. A technique taught, taught it can be taught to a Pokemon. Cool. A TM is only good for once, so you can, so you can use it to the one to teach a new technique. Pick the Pokemon carefully. Cool. P uh, yeah, TM34 contains Bind. Your Pokemon will absorb damage in battle, then pay it back double. So it's still a good move, I guess, but I'm not going to teach you my Pokemon really. It's not, it didn't make any of the final moves. That's for my Pokemon in this project when I was planning it out. Uh, so yeah, I want to spread on my team. So yeah, Peter City Pokemon Gym, Waiter Brock, Wayne Trainer, Sean, Steven. Cool. And um, just as I thought, you're Pokemon Champ and Material. Thanks. So I'm gonna go back and heal real quick. Oh wait, yeah, we have to make it to the Pokemon Center first. Now I'll go back into the Pokemon Center and heal real quick. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so uh, we got this. Let's go on to the next route now. This is route, what route? Notice, the thieves have been stealing Pokemon fossils at Mount Moon. Please call Pewter Police with any info. Okay, we'll get to that later, I guess. Here's a new route. So uh, let's see, um, let's put, let's put Lavender with, yeah, switch Lavender with Storm and yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Eleven. My lavender is level eleven. My storm is level twelve, and my grumpy is level thirteen. So yeah, my Nidoran male is level eleven. My Pikachu is level twelve, and my Mankey is level thirteen. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been on my Pokemon Yellow Walk the Guide part. Next part, we'll take on this route. Hopefully, make it to Mount Moon, and maybe tackle some of Mount Moon if we have time. So yeah, this has been Giant Go again. I would like to leave you goodbye, and I'll see you guys next part of my Pokemon Yellow Walk Through Guide.